Now in 5 part B we're asked to find the coordinates of the points when dy by dx equals 0. So when dy by dx equals 0, remember from part A that dy by dx was cos x over sine y. So therefore it's going to be that cos x over sine y must equal 0. And if I multiply now both sides by sine y, that's going to mean that cos x equals 0. And to solve for x, x would equal the inverse cos then of 0. Now we're told that x has to lie between minus pi and pi. So if I inverse cos 0, then I'm going to get two values of x. x can either be plus or minus pi over 2, the equivalent of 90 degrees. This is in radians, remember, so you could write a little c there, but plus or minus pi upon 2 is the same as plus or minus 90 degrees. OK, so we've got to work in radians, and so now I need the coordinates, so I need my y value, so I need to go up to this equation, which I'm going to call 1, OK, and we're going to sub x equals pi upon 2 and minus pi upon 2 into number 1, OK? So let's just come over here, and we're going to say that when x is pi upon 2, all right, if I sub this into 1, sub in 1, what we've got is that therefore the sine of pi upon 2, okay, plus cos y must equal 0 0.5. And the sine of pi upon 2 radians is the equivalent to doing sine of 90 degrees, which is 1. Okay, so we have 1 plus cos y equals 0 0.5. And so that's going to mean that therefore, let's just move this up a little bit, okay. It's going to mean that cos y is going to equal 0 0.5, take away 1, which is minus 0 0.5. And so y would equal the inverse cos of negative 0 0.5. Now, when I get questions like this where I've got to find uh, the inverse cos or inverse sine, inverse tan of values, I like to use the quadrant rule. And so for something like this, I would draw a little diagram of the quadrant diagram. This would be naught radians, okay, naught C. And we're looking for cosine being negative. And you should know that this quadrant from naught radians to pi upon 2 radians is positive. All of them are positive. In this one, sine is positive, and that's going from pi upon 2 to pi. Okay, And then in this quadrant, tan is positive, and this is going from pi to 3 pi over 2. And finally, cosine is positive in this quadrant, the fourth quadrant, going from naught to 2 pi. And if I inverse cos a negative value, I can expect my answers to be in this quadrant, because sine is positive, or this quadrant down here. Okay? I always mark in these two to the horizontal line as being the same okay, angle. And what I require, if I, y is to be in the range, as we're told, minus pi to pi, I need this angle in here. This is a possible value for y. And I need this angle round here. This is in the range from minus uh, pi to pi. Okay, So this is also another possible value for pi. Because remember, turning in this direction is negative. Turning in this direction is positive. OK, getting on a calculator, we should find that when you do this, you get 2 pi over 3 if you inverse cos that.
and so that means that's that red value okay the red value of y is 2 pi upon 3 and it means that the green one by symmetry must be minus 2 pi upon 3 okay so doing that then gives y equals plus or minus okay 2 pi upon 3 now we need to work with x equaling the minus pi upon 2 value okay so if we carry that one through we'll have when x is minus pi upon 2 we can substitute this into our equation 1 and remember equation 1 was simply that sine x plus cos y equaled 0.5 okay that's what we were given so if we do that we would have now the sine of minus pi upon 2 minus pi upon 2 then plus cos y okay equals 0.5 now the sine of minus pi upon 2 the sine of minus 90 degrees if you like turns out to be minus 1 so you've got minus 1 plus cos y equals 0.5 and if I add 1 to both sides we end up with cos y equaling 1.5 now cosine can never be more than 1 or below minus 1 it's always got to be between minus 1 and 1 so if you were to inverse cos 1.5 you'd get an error on your calculator so in actual fact for this there is no solution so what does that mean that it means now that when x is pi upon 2 okay you get y values of 2 pi upon 3 and minus 2 pi upon 3 so in summary then we're asked to find those coordinates where dy dx equals 0 in other words stationary points okay so we can just summarize by saying that therefore the the uh, coordinates okay coordinates are and they'll be a pair of them so that be pi upon 2 when x is pi upon 2 we had 2 pi upon 3 and and when x is pi upon 2 you also had minus 2 pi upon 3 as another coordinate where dy dx was equal to 0 and that brings us then to the end of question 5 part b